A dipole antenna is one of the simplest and most widely used types of antennas in RF and wireless communication systems. It consists of two conductive elements, usually rods or wires, that are equal in length and aligned on the same axis. The most common type is the half-wave dipole, where the total length of the antenna is approximately half the wavelength of the frequency at which it operates. This makes it resonant at that frequency, allowing for efficient transmission and reception of electromagnetic waves. The length of a dipole antenna is calculated based on the wavelength of the operating frequency. The wavelength lambda is determined using the formula lambda equals C F, where C is the speed of light approximately 3 by yy meters per second and F is the frequency in hertz. For a half-wave dipole, the total length L of the antenna is L equals lambda slash 2. To account for the end effects and practical construction considerations, a correction factor is usually applied, making the practical formula L equals 143. F megahertz, which gives the length in meters. The antenna is typically fed at its center using a balanced transmission line or a balloon to transition from a coaxial feed. At resonance, the dipole presents a purely resistive impedance of approximately 73 ohms at its center feed point, which is close to the standard 75 ohm or 50 ohm impedance of common RF equipment, making it easy to match for minimal signal loss. Several parameters are important in dipole antenna design. These include the length and diameter of the elements, the height above ground, the operating frequency, the bandwidth, and the radiation pattern. The radiation pattern of a half-wave dipole in free space is donut-shaped, with the maximum radiation perpendicular to the axis of the antenna and nulls along the axis. When knotted horizontally above ground, the radiation pattern is influenced by the height typically showing more gain and lower angles of radiation as the height increases. The gain of a half-wave dipole in free space is about 2.15 dBi. The bandwidth of a dipole is influenced by the diameter of the conductor's wider elements provide broader bandwidth. The front-to-back ratio is not applicable in simple dipoles as they radiate symmetrically in both directions along their axis. In practical implementations, variations such as folded dipoles, loaded dipoles, or multiband dipoles can be used to adapt the antenna for different purposes or to improve performance in constrained environments. These modifications affect the input impedance, bandwidth, and overall efficiency and should be factored into the design depending on the intended application. Proper design and tuning are crucial to ensure the dipole antenna operates effectively at the desired frequency with minimal signal loss and maximum radiation efficiency.